What video category do you think your channel falls under? Let us know in the comments below, and this is how you change it. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. When you are logged into YouTube, you should see your channel logo in the top right hand corner of most YouTube screens. If you click on that, you have the option to go to YouTube Studio. This is currently in beta, but will become the standard as 2019 progresses. On the new dashboard screen on the new Creator Studio, go to settings which you will find in the left hand navigation menu. From the pop-up, go to Upload Defaults followed by the Advanced tab. On this page in the top right hand corner you will find the category drop down which allows you to select from one of 15 categories. Do note that this is the video upload default so when you upload a new video this will be your default category. If you want to change the category of an existing video you can go to the video section on the new creator studio, click on the video you want to adjust, click on the advanced tab and change the video category. Remember, this only changes the category for this video, not your entire channel. So now you've answered which category your video falls into, change that on your YouTube channel. The next question is, what's the point in doing any of this? It is an interesting question because when you search on YouTube and click on filters, there is no option to sort by video category. As well as that, if you click on the trending page, your categories there are somewhat limited too. Also, to the best of our knowledge, there is no algorithmic boost or penalty if you do indeed put the video in the right or wrong category. However, when it comes to advertisers finding the right videos to place their adverts on, setting a video category is important. So to make sure you get football related adverts from your football content, make sure to put it in the sports category so you get more clips from those adverts and earn more money. Now sometimes these categories will not be a perfect fit for your channel. For example, a vidIQ could be in the how to and style section, education section or even science and technology. Personally, I think it should be in the comedy section. But as long as you put the video in generally the right category, you should be fine. Oh, and by the way, while we were in the Creator Studio, did you notice those numbers and tools that you may not be familiar with? Those are from the vidIQ Chrome extension that lets you research YouTube, analyze videos, audit your own channel, and take actionable steps that will help grow your channel. It is a free tool and there is a link in the video description. If you want to see more super helpful YouTube beginner guide tips, we've got a playlist over here. If you want to see more awesome vidIQ videos that will help you grow your channel, we've got a link down here. We'll see you on any of those videos right now. And of course, enjoy the rest of your video making day.